what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing two episodes of vikings recommended by the one and only alexander long time subscriber man been through a ton with <laughs> with this guy man and he suggested that i watch these two episodes together so that's what we're going to do today so strap in we're going in for two episodes in a long time with Vikings. I haven't done two episodes of Vikings in one sitting in a very long time. So let's sit back and enjoy. We know what's going on, man. They want Bjorn to be the man, to be the king of all Norway. Now, will King Harold be okay with this? He probably doesn't have a choice in the matter at this point if he wants to live you know, um, so, man, what's his name, King Olaf, is, is it, is it Olaf, I think it's Olaf, King Olaf, whatever he calls himself, that is, um, trying to gather everybody together, because he looks like he was chosen by the gods, you know, to, um, to, to get everybody together, to all the Vikings to be under one rule because they're too spread out bring everybody together this is also going to cause a problem for for ivar because ivar is planning to go take back kattegat how is he going to take that now and bjorn is overall king of norway he having his own problems over there with prince oleg anyway so we'll see how things go with that and also um gunhild I, I can I think that's how they pronounce her name. She's on her way to go find out the tragicness that has been happened that happened over where Lagatha is at. Lagatha. Alright. My girl, my girl, my girl. I'm just That was a very surprising episode, you know what I'm saying? Like that episode was really grimy. You know, it reminds me of the older Vikings. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the review. Alright, so I can definitely see why you wanted me to watch these two episodes. Um, because they decided to kill Lagatha. During the episode, you know, my initial rage was, you know... It was there. It was obvious it was there. You know what I'm saying? It, it was obvious it was his. I'm more angry than sad about this death. And I'm not going to sit here and say, you know what I'm saying? During the episode, I know, you know, at the end there, I was saying that it was a bad decision. But it's it's really not a bad decision. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> writing, writing wise, it's not. You know what I mean? I, as a storyteller, it's not. At least they're doing things better than Game of Thrones did. Because none of the prophecies that happened, that, that was foretold in Game of Thrones, none of it, pretty much none of it came tr true. All of it was for naught. It was just people talking shit out their ass. That's what season 8 proved to be. But at least... In this, as they're wrapping up, it is the final season of Vikings. At least they're trying to wrap up some of those plot holes, some of those things that were said, that was prophesied. You know, so I have to give them props for that. They did it. Mind you, it's not the way how I would have loved to see Lagatha go out. You know, but it is what it is. It was not as bad as you know, as I expected it to be, but I'm still mad about it. That's just my initial rage at the end of the episode where I was saying that it was a bad decision. It's really not. 
it's not a bad decision. Now, I mean, when you take things, when it comes on to story, you got to look at context. And context does matter. You get what I'm saying? Context does matter. And I have to say that here. I have to say that here. That the context does matter. And they did an incredible job. I'm not entirely okay with how she went out. But I'm fine with it. You know. You know, I, I'm trying not to, you know, cry in this video because she, you guys know how much, you know how much I love this character. There's no question about it. You know how much I love this character. And, you know. It's just, she's that one. She's that one, man. And no matter how much they sometimes, just, you know, they kind of brought her back. You get what I'm saying? To the character that she always was in this season. Season 5, Lagatha was just, was all over the place. I don't know what she was about. They kind of took her, took a lot of her character development and just throw it, to, throw it away. In season five, and now they've they brought her back to who she is in this season. And I really feel like they did an incredible job with this character, man. Great character arc, barring season five, Lagatha. Season five, <laughs> season five, Lagatha was just, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. But anyways, um... They definitely picked it up. Another thing I want to talk about is what's going on with Bjorn, right? Of course, it was it was a fixed election. <sighs> Not necessarily on either side, but Olaf didn't necessarily try to <gasps> convince anyone. Like to, you know, Olaf didn't want a vote like that he didn't want that kind of election he wanted a different type of election you can see how surprised he was he didn't exactly what he said but because Bjorn agreed to it he said okay whatever you want man you know what I'm saying um you know so I'm still thinking about Lagatha, man. Like, if Vitzerk is still, if he's if if he's still the same person coming out of this, if he's still like traumatized, and it, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be really mad if Vitzer comes out of this the same way because it's it, it's going to piss me off and I know it's going to piss me off if he's still the same person I'm not going to want to see him on screen because at this moment you're just a lost cause like at, at this moment I just want you to be off the show I'm not wishing death that de death on him or anything like that but at this point he just needs to be a forgotten character like at this point like look how many people has tr tried to help him man Look how many help they've tried to give him, him. At this point, it's I'm leaving you to your own demise or you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I mean? It's just crazy, man. And then Ivar is being tortured by Oleg. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that storyline is going to end. I, I don't have no predictions for that storyline. I'm just going to keep watching it to see what they're going to do with it. Um, you know, he him being tortured, him letting Oleg's brother go. Like, let's see where this lead up into. Because I, I, I can't see. I can't really figure out where this storyline could possibly be going. You get what I'm saying? So that's where I sit with that. But but who to who rescued Bjorn and where are they taking him? I, I don't know. 
what's going on with that either, but I'm glad that somebody came and saved them. King Harold is a bitch. Let's just be honest about it. I don't like the dude, never liked him. He's just a bitch. He's just a bitch. He's a simp. Let's just call it what it is. He's a simp. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's just a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it was left up to him, I think women would, would rule the kingdoms. I think if he gets married, <laughs> let me not go too, let me not go too deep in that. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people's going to be like, he's Viking. He's a man. He's, you know, alpha male and all this other stuff. I don't want to go into that, but in my eyes, it's just in my eyes, I see him as he's not as strong of a man as I would want to see him as, you know what I'm saying? Like the stuff that he does is very, some underhanded, you know what I mean? And he's been through a lot. Don't get me wrong. I think this is the first time in the series that he actually caught a break. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The thing about it is that he's always been jealous of the sons of Ragnar. And that's why I said, that's why I say, and that's why I'm calling him a bitch. Now, he's a simp to women, but he's also a bitch in my eyes when it comes on to, to certain things that he does, the way how he goes about getting his goals accomplished. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's always been, he's always getting captured, all this other stuff. He has one of, one of a very good, I don't want to say one of the best, but a very good story arc in the, since he's been introduced in the series. So... You know, I've never really felt sorry for him because I felt like he still had a certain level of power. It's just that he just kept on wanting more power when, in my opinion, you don't stand out. You haven't really achieved that much as any of the Sons of Ragnar, for that matter. You get what I'm saying? And that's the thing, too, where whereas in, dude, you've been following these dudes around conquering from from Ragnar to Bjorn to all of these dudes right and just because you want to be king of all Norway you know what I'm saying you tried to take Kattegat underhandedly when um to under you know what I'm saying to take over while Lagatha was was queen over there and all of this other stuff you just you just couldn't stay in your kingdom even when you got defeated you still you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people just won't get a hint. And even right now, when Bjorn came back when he didn't even have to, he could have left you to rot. He came back to save your life from King Olaf. And you still, still want to take out Bjorn. I mean, seriously, man. You can't take a hint. The gods don't like you, bro. The gods don't favor him. And that's the thing where it's so obvious to the point where he's forcing these things to happen. This does not make you... A, you see, the thing about it is this, right? Where, what did he promise? Because I know he promised them some, some hell of a shit. I think maybe it's because he probably promised them Bjorn's head. Maybe. Be like, oh, we'll take out... Oh, and and then we'll be in control of Kattegat. We'll go take Kattegat, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know what he promised them, but he definitely promised them something. And I know it's something having to do with Kattegat and Bjorn. You know what I'm saying? But I guess we'll see how this plays out. But anyways, I am... More angry than sad about Lagata's death, but it is what it is. I am sad about it and like how it went down, but I have to accept it based on how, you know, based on the story that we're in, that we're experiencing and the storyline, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I was just, I was angry. <laughs> I was angry when I paused it. I was I was angry, guys. So don't beat me up 
for it. Okay, I was angry, and I said it was a dumb decision. But then when he talked, when she started to talk and talked about the prophecy, I was like, oh shit, you right. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, you right. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but. I guess this is the best way to to do it. Yeah, you know I'm saying. I guess this is the best way to do it, man. And she saw the seer too when she got into the when she got there. She saw the seer, and it's it's like seeing the seer is kind of like confirming like this is it. You know what I'm saying? Like this is it. It's gonna happen. You know. Bjorn not knowing that she's dead. Vidsir just leaving her there. Ah, shit. You guys gotta understand, man. You guys got to understand, man, like, these two, two characters, bro, it's two, two of the best, two of the best characters ever been written in the history of TV, and, and that's not just coming because well written characters man i live for that shit bro i live for that shit man well written characters that you just feel like over a period of time you just have this certain connection to them you know what i'm saying like you was you there with them you know what i mean that's just that's just crazy to me Why did they have to? Why did they have to do that at the end, man? They didn't have to do that. Oh, my God. This is definitely one of the best. One of the best episodes. One of the best episodes of Vikings. Definitely, definitely one of the best episodes of Vikings. You guys know how much from, like, from, like, season one. When people, <laughs> when people used to correct me, and saying um, Lagatha's name correctly, we coming from way back, man, with Lagatha Ben, and wow, wow, that was a beautiful send off for her character. Um, that was just beautiful, man. That's all I can say. Um, I couldn't hold back the tears any longer because. I'm definitely going to miss this character in the show. It's the same thing with seeing, you know, Ragnar go. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the same thing. These are the two, the first two characters that you had any kind of connection with in the show from episode one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Let me let me stop. I'm not going to do another review um for this episode. I might just cut this the end of this episode off and just add it to um add it to the review that I already did cuz I did a review after I watched the last episode because I wasn't going to watch this episode, but then I said let me watch this episode because I want to see what kind of send off she was going to get. I knew the episode was going to be sad. You know. I knew the episode was going to be sad. But as much as I prepared for it. <laughs> Bjorn's speech. And then. The end. The ending of it. With. um Them showing her. 
with Ragnar, man, that that is hard to watch. That is hard to watch. And I know, I know, <laughs> I know I've given this series a lot of flack, man, for, for season five, but they have really come back. I don't know if they went back to the drawing board and said, we got to finish this out strong, but they have really picked up for this season, no doubt of it, and delivered on, I would say, two of the best episodes of the season so far. Definitely, two of the best season, two of the best episodes of season six, was episode six, um, episode six and seven. Man, <sighs> it's been a while since I did three episodes <laughs> of Vikings, but wow, is all I have to say. Wow, wow, they have really, really turned it around this season. Um, I know there's still people think that season six was bad and that was my, that was my evaluation after episode one. But then when I watched episode two, you guys told me that it, both of them were supposed to be watched together because they premiered together. So it was like one full episode, episode one and two was supposed to be watched as one full episode. And I understand why season six is not it in my book. It's not. It's not as good as the first four seasons, but it's still a great storyline to follow. And in my book, I think they they did an excellent job. I think they're doing an excellent job so far. It's not a I don't think I don't think it's up there with the upper echelons of seasons so far. I don't think so. It's still not at a nine for me yet, but it's getting there if they can deliver for these but it, I, I would give right now through seven episodes, having three more episodes to go. I would say that this is a, a solid eight, solid eight out of 10 right now. Solid eight out of 10. I would give it so far. This was excellently done. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> Just make sure you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hey, man, that was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Peace.